but I am human and I get pimples. My skin has grown to love it. Letting your skin just kind of run its course. Clean face at night. It is a hell of a product. Welcome back to my channel. Attorney Brooke here. I wanted to pop on and talk about what I do when I have breakouts. And well, I'm 27 and the whole point is I have gone through my fair share of breakouts and my fair share of products and like trying to figure out like how to diffuse pimples. I wanted to show you guys what I do when I'm like, my skin is being disrespectful and I'm like getting blemishes as deep like ugh. my skin when I break out I know like brace yourself and it's like shocking to hear but I am human and I get pimples when I break out I tend to get deeper like ugh, ones right here and it's probably just because like that's where I like cake on a bunch of product or whatever so I get like the deeper ones right here concentrated in front of my ears which I have some right now you know it's not all the time which like I'm thankful for truly believe it's a product of proper skincare and like figuring out what works for my skin. Breakouts just have been kind of at bay for me, but it just, you know, that time of month, hormones, whatever, food, too much like margarita, chips and queso, who fucking knows, you name it, we break out. I also always have like congested pores along my chin and that's probably also just a product of my makeup. Obviously like the nose, I get blackheads, like probably 99.8% of people out there. I kind of don't love that this camera doesn't show that because I do like to obviously share a lot of skincare and makeup and I think this it's like tends to deceive what my actual skin looks like. Look, you can see bumps right now. I was kind of breaking out. Like these are like scarring from popping them. Like over here, you can see the deeper ones I was talking about. My chin, I like constantly have to pick them. The camera like definitely covers a lot of it. But what I like to do and what I find helps the most to keep everything kind of at an equilibrium and at bay is this product right here. And it's kind of bright. But this is by Summer Fridays and it is their Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. I do believe that this product, like if you go and like look it up on Sephora, like it's rated pretty well. You're gonna get a lot of good feedback on it. I've been using this since they dropped it, so it's been a while. This is a chemical exfoliant. So like you get like those physical like salts and sugar exfoliants and scrubs that you can use which I absolutely use, but this one is a chemical exfoliant. So it's like using the actual ingredients and chemicals within this product to get rid of that skin and to replenish the surface of your skin. This uh, product and similar with other chemical exfoliants is if you're new to it, if you were to wear it like every single day and automatically boom, incorporate it into your skincare, you're probably gonna get irritated. You're gonna get dry. You're gonna get sensitive, especially like around the note like it's just this is something that you kind of wean yourself into i would start by maybe like every couple days wearing it and then kind of building from there i also have trained my skin with the rin aha daily tonic different products but like some of the same ingredients combined i do this in the am this in the pm if you were to just go and like start slapping that on your face it's probably going to be a bit much but i I've just done it for so long, my skin has grown to love it. And this product is so freaking good. That's it, you have to go try it. It is in a glass bottle. The packaging is not my absolute favorite, but like that's me being like super picky. The only time I don't love the packaging is when I travel with it. I do bring my entire skincare regimen when I travel. So when I bring this, it tends to leak like if it's in like my dock kit or toiletry and it's just being sloshed around, it leaks because there's really no like rubber barrier. Like you can kind of already see it just from doing that. So it's a liquid, um, like serum like substance, but there's not a whole lot in here. So it is liquid and it goes on super smooth. 
and then it dries down fairly quickly. I use this with a reusable pad. I don't have my skin clean right now. I will like drop probably like four to five like good shakes to saturate this and then with a clean face at night super clean face this is the first product i put on i will go in and like saturate everywhere um ears behind the ears down the neck hairline i like to particularly saturate right here um, because that's where like my pores are the biggest. I feel like I need the most exfoliation. That's where I, a lot of my product tends to like pull to during the day where a lot of my oil develops. So I like to saturate it in there. I stay away from the sensitive part of the eyes. And this literally, I swear to God, is like a little army of Martians that like go in and like pull your pores tighter at night. Lift out like whatever's in your pores. If you have like clean pores, it's gonna tighten it in. So nothing can really like pack into your pores. That's, I swear that's what this does. And it's so good. Please, please, please try this. Especially if you have oily skin, you have larger pores, texturized skin. This is so good and it's gonna help keep all that kind of crap at bay on a daily basis. I have worked up to using this every day and my skin absolutely thrives with it. If I like kind of am too lazy or I don't use it or for whatever reason, I can absolutely tell a difference. This does not strip my skin, so I don't wake up like tight and it like no i wake up um and my skin literally looks like refurbished um i actually got my brother on this and he recently told me that he really likes the product because he gets like those same kind of pimples where they're just kind of like deep those like sore ones and something to really combat that is this product so go try this i've talked about it before but this is my absolute go-to cleansing product it's the summer fridays um super amino gel cleanser I've also shared like my oil-based cleansers. So part of that nighttime is doing an oil-based. I either double cleanse with some micellar water or with this, depending on kind of like the heaviness of my skin that day. First product, this one. That's just overall good balancing, close up those pores, clear them out kind of product. And then what I have recently started using to kind of combat over oiliness and also with breakouts is this retinol product. It's by Dr. Dennis Gross. It is an advanced retinol and ferulic. Here's the bottle. I got it at Sephora. This is the first retinol product I'm starting to incorporate into um, my skincare. I don't remember the exact price of this. It is a bit pricier. I want to say maybe $60 to $70 range for this, and I might be overshooting on the price. It calls for several drops. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's kind of that cloudy consistency. It's liquid, so you can see how it drops out. I just do like a, like a quick kind of like and like rub it in my hands and then pat it on. That's how I apply it. Um, I don't like sit there and measure out the drops. Retinol in general and like the goal I'm wanting to get from retinol is like first and foremost, like the anti-aging um, kind of qualities that retinol brings and it's gonna help with plumpness in the skin. It's gonna help bring some collagen back into your skin as we age and get into our late 20s, 30s, into our 40s. Our body is not naturally producing as much collagen as it typically does. So it's good to intake the collagen like through different powders and things and also topically through your products to give that to your skin of which it's not naturally producing it's going to help with the plumpness it's going to help with the fine lines i particularly picked this one because it's also formulated to help with people um with a bit more oily skin and also just like overall plumpness. I have been using this and I can definitively say it is a hell of a product. I haven't been using it long enough. I've been using it for about a week to two weeks to know exactly how I like it. So far it's a yes because I can tell it's making a difference. My skin um, with incorporating this product has been way more sensitive. I do believe that this retinol product um, is intense 
And I know in general, if you're incorporating retinol into your skincare, it's something that you need to like wean yourself onto. It can be very powerful depending on the concentration of retinol. You know, you can go from low over the counter concentrations all the way up to prescription type retinols. Prescription ones can completely like deplete your skin and completely resurface it to the point where like you're chafing and you're literally like shedding new skin. It's prescribed for like anti-aging, acne, things like that, all the way down to like lower concentrations and serums and things like that. So my point is that it definitely is affecting my skin. My skin is a lot drier. It has definitely been extremely sensitive to the point where it's like starting to flake under my nose. I'm just using like a good night oil on top of this. And despite good night oils, good moisturizers, it is still kicking in, but I like it because along with my AHA chemical exfoliant, it is working and it is tightening up these pores that I like right here, tightening up the forehead. So I'm really excited. And I do think this is gonna help with overall like that pore control and breaking out. Those are kind of like my general go-to. Now, if I'm breaking out, I typically like just for like a night or two to avoid real thick like skin oil just because adding that on top of like a fresh pimple or one that I've popped is not a good combo. Um, I like to stick with more of my harsh chemicals to like really dry it out and keep it like exposed because I feel like nighttime is the best time to really heal everything. And it's like, you know, sleep literally heals all. Like it heals your like organs, your gut, your skin. Sleep is so important. So I let my products do their work then. Another product that I like to use um, while my skin is more sensitive or broken out is by First Aid Beauty, their Ultra Repair Cream. So this is a six ounce tubby of it. It smells almost like a super, super, super light menthol. You can see it's, it's a, thinner consistency so you can see it um, and I'll pull it to the back of my hand but look how like a little goes such a long way and this is formulated for sensitive skin and it also can be used on your body and on your face I would never grab that much for my face I've been using this in conjunction with trying the retinol just because this is gonna give my skin that hydration it needs but it's also good for that sensitive skin so it's not going to burn it it's not going to like overly irritate it if i'm going in for moisturizer i probably use like that's even a lot and then i take it and i rub it and i really really concentrate it in my nose because that's where i'm kind of irritated and then i'll rub it all in um, this is a good product too another good key is if you're kind of breaking out and you find that you're getting a lot of the blackheads or you're even getting like more of the pustules like the whiteheads i would also do like a good surface like exfoliant because it could just be you know your actual like toxins and like physical bad things like sitting onto your skin and sometimes you just need a good exfoliating refresh acne can also like just be a product of kind of what you ate the weekend before or the week before like you know i definitely don't practice what i preach but like overarching concept of like what you eat this week and then just this week is going to dictate how you feel the following week that's generally how it is and I feel like it's the same with your skin. So it could be a product of just your diet, high sodium, whatever it might be, can also affect it. Um, like I said, hydration, drinking enough water. Everyone, at, like, you know, at this point in our like life's journey, like we know our skin the best, and this is what works for me. It's like getting rid of the oils, getting rid of a lot of creamy makeup, and just kind of letting my skin breathe is what it needs. Acne sometimes can be a product of kind of your skin telling you it doesn't like what you're putting on it. That sounds like so duh, like obvious, but it could be like a new skincare regimen that you're doing. I might be preaching it because it works for me and I absolutely love it. And you could try it and it could make you break out. It's just your skin. It's off equilibrium. It's not liking what's on it. It's not liking what you put in your body. So it can kind of be like a process of elimination of trying to figure that out too. But these products are gonna be good for kind of like helping to keep that at bay while you figure it out.
Another last product that I've been trying lately and I'm just coming around to it is the Peace Out Acne product. I picked these up at Sephora. I was just there kind of perusing the other day or a couple weeks ago and found these and I've seen them like all over like the internet and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll try them. The active ingredient in this is salicylic acid and I know it also has like some aloe vera and retinol, salicylic acid and aloe vera, like the main active ingredients in it. To combat the acne is gonna be that salicylic acid, which I think is in like CeraVe, Cetaphil. It might be in like the proactive, that skincare line. Any Anything that's marketed for like acne is gonna have some form of active ingredient. So if you've tried salicylic acid forward products for acne control and they don't work for you, I don't foresee that this would necessarily work for you. But nonetheless, I'll show you what they look like. I've already kind of picked through them. They come in this box um and then they come in little like packets like this um i've already worn some of them they come on this little clear like tabby thing and so like these are the actual pieces peel off they're super sticky um all the ingredients are obviously packed into these little circular patches and then like last night i actually threw one on this pimple i tried to pop it and like ooh. You know when you just try and it ain't it and it just hurts like that's what it was so like nothing came out of it and so i put this on it and um i woke up and like this bitch is flat it's still darker because i was like picking at it um but like i can feel like there's nothing in there and it's not sore to touch anymore so i think like a combo of what i naturally like typically do with these i think really helped it like concentrates that um, straight onto it. I like don't think that these are like supposed to be like an everyday like thing. This is more something I'm grabbing when I have like a deep one. Otherwise, I really am a firm believer in like letting your skin just kind of run its course. If you have some that really need some extra help, I think these are good. And they like go on like super clear. I would assume with every kind of skin tone, like you don't really even see them. I would plan to like sleep in them to get like the most effect out of them so yeah that was it long-winded about how i you know pop my pimples and take care of them but that's about it i'll list some of those products for you guys to check out and if you have any like acne tips or tricks like let me know oh before i tune out one thing you better not freaking do to your pimple is put toothpaste on it if you put toothpaste on your face, good luck. Don't do it. Please don't do it. It's not good. It never helps. I've tried it. Don't put toothpaste on your face. And that's about it. If you can kind of relate to this video at all, if you have any like acne secrets, let me know if you liked any of this. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can kind of see what I'm coming out with. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.